I look upon mobility as like a, as a clock. Switzerland, I think, is a good example of that. The whole society works as a clock. I think that it's one of the most mobile countries out there. <laughs> I live in Zurich and Zurich is a very connected city. You have trams everywhere, you have buses, you have trains. Mobility in the modern world for me is really not being constrained to local opportunities but really having a global or city-wide perspective. It's also mobility to just not plan ahead, to just start going outside and then discover it by yourself and just be able to go wherever you want to and know where you are. Ja, Mobilität ist wichtig. Mobilität ist ein Treiber von unserer Gesellschaft. I really like not being tied to a car, for example. I like having the choice between different forms of mobility. And I think we can look upon mobilities within three challenges. The mobility of people, the mobility of goods, and the mobility of ideas. The best way is actually to leave your car somewhere and just leave it like that because you'd get along much faster on public transportation or on the bike. I live about 10 minutes away from work by bike. Within city mobility is, is very important for my quality of life. We've taken a standard um, garment bag or suit bag, uh, added some technology so that you can now roll it without uh, wrinkling or creasing your garments. And as far as we know, there's nothing else like this on the market. All you do is basically swing it over your shoulder like a normal duffel bag. You have a stabilization strap here, which goes behind here, clip in. The app I'm developing is an app called Circle of Six, and it aims to really address the problem of gender-based sexual violence in the urban young community. The point of the app is to have a safety plan ahead of time. In a situation where you aren't mobile, you're much more in danger. And in one tap, you can send a come and get me message with your precise location to the circle. Ich hatte einen klassischen Büroberuf, bin also den ganzen Tag in einem Büro gesessen. Ich habe auf das Album meinen Job gekündigt und bin mal ein halbes Jahr mit dem Velo durch die Schweiz durchgereist und durch Europa durch und habe mir überlegt, was ich, was ich nicht mache. Ich bin auf dieser Reise dann in mehreren Großstädten bin ich auf die Rikschas gestoßen und habe das sehr spannende Sache gefunden. Ich persönlich bin ein großer Fan natürlich von Human Powered Vehicles, also wo wirklich ohne fremde Energie auskommen. Ich habe aber nicht sehr große Hoffnungen, weil es natürlich für die Industrie uninteressant ist, wenn niemand mehr Ressourcen kauft. Nachher. The whole system works because it doesn't work, because it's inefficient. The more friction there is in the mobility process, this inefficiency and therefore generate revenues. We got this big car because we got a big family, we got four kids, we got a dog and we go camping in the summer vacation. Of course we don't need it on a regular basis, but just a few times in a year when we drive somewhere with everybody, which is not happening that much anymore <laughs> because the kids getting older. <laughs> We figured it would be a little bit more economical to let it rent to other people. See on the map where there are cars available. You can use a car whenever you need a car. You don't have to own it anymore. The car is available to you whenever you need it. You can check whether you want to have your car available. Like you can put in dates or you can say, yeah, just on request. Then you just wait and maybe somebody's going to rent your car. There are times where I actually really need a car, that's whenever I have to transport something very heavy or very big, which I cannot put on my bike or which I cannot carry by myself or I just want to 
don't want to squeeze it into a bus or a tram. I can just quickly rent it on my app and see whenever which car is available and I don't, I don't have to plan, plan far ahead. And that's for me mobility, you just have access to it whenever you want to. Brainby uses private people. That's the point of crowd logistics, that we really leverage the crowd and everyone out there who's already moving around. It's similar to carpooling, what people are also already doing, and we're just transferring the same concept from moving people to moving goods and uh, deliveries around. <laughs> Wenn wir im Übertriebenen sind, vielleicht ein kleiner Soldat sagt, das Gewehr ist seine Frau, ist, äh, ist das Velo für uns, seine Frau. Wie es für mich eben wie eine Lebenseinstellung ist, wie eine Lebensphilosophie ist. Und ich mache das ja schon über 15 Jahre ins Velokurier Vollzeit. Ja, wir transportieren eigentlich mehr oder weniger alles, was man machen kann. Machen, oder? Also von jemandem, der den Schlüssel daheim vergessen hat, den man muss ins Geschäft bringen muss, bis zum Bett, wo, wo jemand gerade frisch in die Ikea gekauft hat. Science discovered that gasoline was liquid horsepower. The air taxi is the quickest and most efficient means of reaching his destination. Air taxis are convenient. Flying carpools have a future, but flying cars definitely don't seem like on this mega city scale. They would really scale. You would very quickly have traffic in, in the air. Fliegende Autos kann ich mir nicht so vorstellen. Ich denke mir Kollisionen in der Luft. Haben die ja dann auch Auswirkungen am Boden? Also. I don't think so. <laughs> Honestly, no. I don't think it would be by far possible. I hope flying ideas, yes. Ich habe jetzt letztlich gegen Google macht ein neues Auto, wo man nur noch reinsitzen und umeinander fahren Ich denke, das wird sicher Zukunft haben. Und, äh, ja. I would rather want to teleport myself from, from A to B than having a flying car. Write it like a story. One day we'll know that our souls were to be.